The Diocese of Ogdensburg was founded 150 years ago. As we celebrate this spiritual milestone, we remember those who came before us who sowed the seeds of faith and built the foundation upon which this local church stands today. We renew our commitment to Christ and the mission he gave the church to proclaim the gospel and to live the Beatitudes. We rejoice in the many gifts and blessings which come from the Lord. Yes, we remember, we renew, and we rejoice as church here in the North Country. Although the world has changed so much, our mission has remained constant. We strive to reach out to the lost, rejected, and forgotten, to educate and bring Christ to the people of the North Country with the help of the annual Bishop's Fund Appeal. 150 years together in faith. Each year, your support of the Bishop's Fund Appeal allows us to carry out our mission by educating our future priests, deacons, and lay ministers so that they may answer God's call to serve in parishes across our diocese, providing our youth and our families with in-person and online events and summer camp at Camp Guggenheim, assisting families with tuition assistance for their children attending Catholic schools, and giving grants to families and individuals who suffer hardships due to job loss, high medical costs, and other expenses incurred during a personal crisis. My name is Tyler Fitzgerald. I'm from St. John the Baptist Church in Madrid, New York. And I just finished four years of undergraduate study at the Pontifical College Josephinum in Columbus, Ohio. The priesthood is always in the back of my mind ever since I was very, very small. When I was about 12 years old, I started going to some discernment groups in both Potsdam and Canton, and they were very helpful because I realized I'm not alone in this. There are other young men like me that are thinking of the priesthood. When I was young, I thought you know, the priesthood would be lonely having a rectory to yourself and running around doing church things all day. But the past four years have shown me I've got to know some priests very personally, and my own experience is that, yes, you are alone, but it's a very busy and blessed life. The Bishop's Fund has been a great blessing because, as we all know, everything education-related is very expensive. So the Bishop's Fund is a great blessing to help provide books, transport, and any other needs we need at the seminary. I'm very excited to serve this Church of Ogdensburg as a priest one day, and it means a great deal that there are so many faithful Catholics out there supporting us on our journey, so thank you. I was ordained to the diaconate in 2003. Most people do not understand how a deacon becomes a deacon. It is an expensive proposition that formation costs money over the years. And the parish and the diocese through the Bishop's Fund Appeal partner in, in that process. The Bishop's Fund Appeal has been a very important part of our formation program. Bishop Lavalle, back in 2014, said, why don't we get together with all the deacons and their wives and widows and have an assembly? And now here we are, nine years later, doing the assembly every year. And it's an opportunity for the deacons and the wives and the widows of deacons from throughout our diocese uh, to get together and, and to have some social time together, but also some educational time together too. We don't have as many men who are choosing to become priests. So deacons be, have become very important in the in leadership positions in the diocese. We have about 90 men currently on the rolls as deacons in the Diocese of Ogdensburg. And if it wasn't for the Bishop's Fund Appeal, we wouldn't have any. The Youth Office works to accompany our young people through uniquely crafted programming and events. Our mission is to create opportunities for teens to strengthen their Catholic faith, grow in community leadership, and connect with each other in fellowship and fun. For example, the annual Youth Rally is a day-long opportunity for the young people of our diocese to come together in faith and fellowship. Youth rallies are generally themed with a scripture teaching. They also include fun games and activities, as well as a national speaker, musical guest, and always concludes with a wonderful mass. For the upcoming year, we are excited to offer the high school age retreat at Camp Guggenheim, and multiple areas around the diocese will highlight our middle-aged youth offerings. 
We are more than excited to finally be able to invite campers back to Guggenheim in 2022. This is the 50th year of summer camp operation. Thank you for generously supporting the youth ministry program through the Bishop's Fund Appeal. We're the Terpstras and we're from Governor. There are many families that I am aware of that would not be able to send their students to St. James if not for the Bishop's Fund and the scholarships that they have. Thank you. When I was a principal, it was a very special experience to work with the families, to work with the people in the parish who supported it. The Bishop's Fund is a tremendous benefit for the students and the families. So many times parents will want to place their children in a Catholic school but simply can't afford it. And the Bishop's Fund makes it possible for those people to enroll. I'd like to add a big thank you. I can remember times that people would come and hand me a $10 bill or a $20 bill, you know, elderly people that I knew were struggling. That was treasured as much as some of the larger donations from others. Their kindness and their remembrance of Catholic education means a tremendous amount. I can name numerous occasions in which I've written to the bishop seeking financial assistance for various people from the Good Samaritan Fund. I recall the very first time I wrote to Bishop Ajana years ago when I was first ordained. There was a family in the parish that needed new tires. They were traveling back and forth to work. Their car was unable to be inspected until they received tires for their car and Bishop uh, gave them money to purchase that. This past year, I uh, was aware of one of my parishioners uh, who had a house fire and wrote again to the Bishop's Fund. And it was through the Bishop's Fund that sent donation to her to assist her in her time of need. Through your love and generosity in which you yourselves not only help the church, but you help individuals who are part of the church, who are members of the church, for we're all called the body of Christ. It's a very small community, so we know everybody. The women get together and put on two dinners a year and also a bazaar, which makes quite a bit of money. When we first came, the kids were younger and they all went to Guggenheim and really enjoyed the summer programs that they had there. We went to Family Week um, a couple of years and met so many nice people from the whole diocese. And I know that they contribute to the Catholic school, which is another thing that we were so glad to have when we came here. Um, Tagonaroga has a Catholic school that we were able to be bused to. The seminarians, of course, we need priests. That's a, that's a huge thing that uh, Bishop's Fund kicks into. Well, Legan was here. and He would come and say Mass, and he had an awesome voice, which I always liked. Father liked. Legan. Father Legan now. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to donate to a charity, you can be safe giving to the Bishop's Fund and knowing that it's being given to a number of good causes. I think, you know, when you're giving to the Lord, you give what you can give and that's all He asks of you. Again, this year we hope to reach a goal of $1.3 million to support our programs and ministries. We will tap funds raised over our goal to further assist families and individuals to meet critical needs through the Bishop's Good Samaritan Fund. I'm very grateful for the generosity of parishioners and friends from across the diocese and beyond who support the annual Bishop's Fund Appeal. Your contribution has a profound impact on those we serve. Thank you for your prayerful consideration of the 2022 Bishop's Fund Appeal. 150 glorious years together in faith. Praise God.